everyone and welcome back to another video so a few months ago i made a video in Chengdu, which is a first year city here in china and i was searching for homeless people at two o'clock in the morning and after that video i got a lot of comments about that so i thought that i'm going to address those comments today while again searching for homeless people but this time I'm not in a first tier city. I am closer to the village side, the countryside. Like you can see right now, I'm next to this lake. It is one o'clock in the morning. Uh, there's no one around me at the moment, except for Emma. This is Emma, my cameraman, if you remember her. She's also my bodyguard tonight because a lot of you do care about my safety. Thank you, but no need. I do live in China, so I'm safe. So a lot of you told me that I am just searching in the rich places, the big cities, in the big roads, and that is why I'm really walking here. And I don't do these videos just for the joke of it. I have never said there are no homeless people in China. I have just never found a homeless person or met someone that has ever seen a homeless person in China. And for me, coming from a country like South Africa, where beggars and homeless people are really the norm, and a big, powerful country like the US, where, you know, drugs and homeless people is such a big thing, for me to live in a country and I've never seen a beggar or a homeless person, it is a big deal. And that is why I make these videos to really try and prove to some of you who still don't believe that there are really no homeless people in China. So some of you have actually commented it is too good to be true. And I agree with you. If I didn't live in China, I don't think I would believe you because I can't imagine a world without homeless people, especially because I live in the country that I do live in. So I understand, but I'm still going to try and prove you wrong, walk around and see if we can find someone you know, just to see if the Western media is speaking the truth. So the first comment that I want to read for you really explains what I actually wanted to say in this video as well. So this guy says, as a Chinese, the reason why there are no homeless people in China can be very complicated if you want it to be, or it can be very simple. So there are three reasons. The first reason is China has sustained 30 years of economic growth, labor intensive enterprises that are widely distributed across China, which offers a lot of jobs to different people. I can't really see where I'm walking, <laughs> which offers yeah, a lot of jobs to people here in China. The second reason he says is the Chinese government because they have such harsh laws against drug trafficking, where we all know the root of homelessness is drugs. So the fact that, you know, drugs are illegal here and it is very strict here with drugs, I do believe that is also a big reason why there are no homeless people here in China. And then the third reason is the cultural tradition it is very shameful for the family and also the local governments if someone in the family is homeless. And that is a big thing that I want to talk with you about today. Here in China, I've talked about how families really support each other, how they love each other. And a lot of the Chinese people have also commented on my videos like, yeah, if they ever don't have a job or they don't have money anymore, the family will provide for them. And that is really true here. Not just the family has to provide for them, but also like I just told you, the culture, the keeping face in China is a very big thing. To not have someone in your family be homeless and you know about it. So family support does play a big role in the no homelessness here in China. I do want to just add, I know I'm making a video about homelessness, but I don't think a lot of you have experienced what I'm experiencing now. It's like 10 past one in the morning. It is very quiet. I'm walking next to this lake. I am not scared when I hear a bird in the tree 
or I can't really see where I'm walking. It is really just an amazing feeling. I did also see a lot of you actually commenting on my video saying that China hides the homeless people in homes. <laughs> that doesn't really make sense to me because that is the definition of a shelter. When people are homeless, the government gives them a house to live in and that you call a shelter. So it's not like the government hides them. It's just called a home. I've also actually never heard about a shelter. There's someone that commented that, you know, I'm fake and I'm lying. And they actually just saw a live vlog about someone walking around and then they saw a homeless person. So I'm like, next time, maybe I should do a live. Maybe more people will believe me. So let me know down in the comments if you would want to see a live next time when I'm in a countryside again or in whichever city you would like me to go to. So let me know about that. But yeah, I'm really just trying to show you the truth here. And obviously, I hope that I don't find a homeless person because at the end of the day, this is not just about making a video. It is a person's life and no one deserves, you know, not to have a roof over their heads or food. So here's a comment that says, want to find some real homeless people in China? Go to the railway station. Firstly, this is not like the US where you can just sleep in the railway station if that is what puts a roof over your head. In China, you actually need a ticket to get into the station. So if you don't have a ticket, you're not getting in. This guy says, it's safe here in China. I'm in the Northeast. There's very few homeless, but you do get them. People traveling, looking for work, people with mental health problems. But here, your family will put you up. It's culturally different. Yeah, this is very true. Like the family I just mentioned, they will put up with you. And sometimes people move from the villages into the cities and they don't have a place to live yet. So I don't know if they're homeless or they drive back to the village or sleep with their friends. I'm not sure. But I have heard that a lot of people from the villages move into the city. I still haven't found a homeless person, as you could see in my videos. Oh, but sometimes I do see people sleeping on the street. And when I get close to them and I want to make a video really to show you, wow, I have found one. And it's like, oh, no, just a drunk person passed out on the street that does happen here in china chinese people love to have a good time no homeless people in china are you kidding have you been to any other party if china of course not obviously um i have been to a lot of cities here in china i have lived here for five years and traveling is very convenient so i do travel a lot I have never seen a homeless person in any other city. I mean, I have been to villages for Chinese New Year. I have traveled a lot. And remember, here in China, it is safe. So most of the time when you are doing activities, going around, it's always at night. Look at this comment. It says, why don't you highlight your own country before looking for others' flaws? <laughs> Firstly, I don't have to talk about South Africa. Everyone knows what is going on in South Africa. I am not looking or searching to find flaws in other countries. Like for example, when I compare China to the US, it is just because the US says, oh, they are so amazing, they are so great, but look at all the homeless people. Like I'm just showing you the facts. It's not like I'm finding their flaws, which the US is not better than China, by the way. I really hope while walking, while searching, however long my YouTube journey may be, that I really never find a homeless person in China. Like I said, no one deserves something like that. And at the end of the day, it is not a joke. But I just think a lot of people have this really big misconception about China because of what you guys are hearing on the western media and i'm just here trying to prove to you to show you the truth because i am right here i am literally on the ground here in china making videos for you i really hope that you enjoyed the video 
learn something saw what you wanted or didn't want to see um, but i appreciate you staying with me until the end and i'll see you in the next video everyone bye